Hey guys, it's Margaret, and it is Friday, July 6th, the 185th day of the My Nichi Project. So today is actually my husband's birthday, and uh, he always asks that I make him something by hand. Uh, but this year, you know, kind of watching our diets, kind of watching our wallets, so I thought I would try and make mini cheesecakes. I have made a full cheesecake in the past, and like honestly, it's more work than I'm willing to put into it. So. So this is just like a basic cheesecake recipe. You can find them anywhere online. But I did have to modify it a little bit because this is Japan and like a lot of ingredients are kind of difficult to find. That being said, uh, the size of these cheesecakes means you won't have to do a water bath. It means you won't have to do a lot of the same long amounts of cooling time as you would a normal cheesecake. Like, they're very easy. And you also don't have to worry about them going bad because there's only two of you in the house and you can't eat an entire cheesecake in a week. So let's get to it. I can't wait to see how these guys turn out. Just kidding, I already know how they turned out. I made them yesterday. Just come along and join me on this cheesecake journey where we already know the results. Everything worked out fine. They're great. Crust ingredients. Okay, so here in Japan, graham cracker cookies are really hard to find, so I use sable cookies. Um, these are salted caramel flavored. You're also gonna need sugar and butter. This particular recipe makes about 12 mini cheesecakes, so you're gonna need 16 ounces of cream cheese. Make sure it's softened to room temperature before you use it. Besides cream cheese, you're going to need eggs, sugar, and some vanilla extract. So if you're like me and you live in Japan, uh, you're gonna have to spend a couple minutes unwrapping all of your cookies for your crust. That's fine, we're totally used to it. When you're done unwrapping your cookies, you're going to want to put them back into a plastic bag, but a different one. Then you're going to beat them up. Now I know what you're saying out there, uh, I could never beat anything up, but I just want you guys to think about maybe some things that have been annoying you lately. It could be something at home, something in, I don't know, the world of politics. It could be any number of people or things. Just take your aggressions out here on these cookies. That sounds healthy, right? Go ahead and line your cupcake tin with cupcake liners, even though these are definitely not cupcakes, but mini cheesecakes. In a bowl, mix two tablespoons of sugar, about three tablespoons of melted butter, and the remains of your cathartic therapy session. If you don't have graham crackers, now's a good time to add a little bit of cinnamon just for that graham crackery taste. When you're done mixing, add your crust to your mini cheesecake mold. If you're looking for something classy to press down the crust, might I recommend a shot glass? Or, just kidding, I recommend a shot glass. Perfect size. Now time to mix the filling. Add your cream cheese, two expertly cracked eggs, half a cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I recommend blending the cheesecake filling off camera as it's boring to watch and nobody cares. With the patience of a saint, attempt to pour the filling into your mini cheesecake molds. Definitely don't mess up at all. Or eat any of the extra off the side. I'm sure all of you remember to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll figure out what that is in Celsius and put it in the post. America! Pop those bad boys in. They're gonna take about 15 minutes to cook. Uh, make sure they don't get too hard. Cheesecake is a game of constant vigilance. Oh, did you get distracted by something? Cause your cheesecake's done. Don't take them out of the oven quite yet. You need to let them cool off gradually. Um, the way I do it here in Japan is I take this here bottle cap and I wedge it in between the doors to get a little bit of cool air circulating into my ginormous oven. Take them out of the oven and let them cool on the kitchen countertop until room temperature. After that, you might want to wrap them in plastic wrap and let them cool off in the fridge overnight. This is how cheesecake sets the best. Now that it's the next morning and you've completely forgotten about all the cheesecake you made, it's time to get decorating. You can decorate with whatever you want, but I think most classy people are gonna choose fruit. It's cherry season here in Japan, so bourgeoisie cupcakes it is. And that's it. Now, 
be really impressed with yourself. This particular dessert, despite its size, took two days to make. That's not exorbitant. Totally worth it. And that's it, that's your cheesecake. What do you guys think? They're kind of cute, right? Um, the whipped cream is totally optional. I prefer not to do it, but like, honestly, he asked me for whipped cream in a tube before he asked me for cake. So it was kind of important that the cheesecake have whipped cream on top of it for Shin. But, you know, typical cheesecake things I think would work perfectly for this. If any of you have questions about baking in Japan, like the size of the oven, or what ingredients I usually have to substitute, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.